Item number, SCP-5915. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. Disinformation campaign medical mystery and routine observation in the Gulf of Mexico remain in effect. Upon the confirmation of an SCP-5915 occurrence, Foundation agents under the guise of emergency responders are to amnesticize all witnesses. Mobile Task Force Mu-90, codenamed Sewer Rats, are to be immediately dispatched into the public sewer system shortly after to collect any stray SCP-5915-A instances. Description SCP-5915 is a phenomenon that occurs within the city of Biloxi, Mississippi each summer. Since June 9, 1999, up to nine Biloxi residents would be found dead every year, the cause of which being the expulsion of their brains and eyes, collectively designated SCP-5915-A, through the back of the skull. Every SCP-5915 victim is between the ages of 68 and 80, and every incident occurs on a rainy evening. SCP-5915-A's behavior immediately after, however, differs upon each occurrence. Most will attempt to escape the immediate vicinity, but some instances will attempt to force themselves through the mouths and nostrils of nearby people. Effectively tracking SCP-5915-A instances has proven to be difficult, as they utilize their spongy form to squeeze through toilet drains and sewer grates. The location of escaped SCP-5915-A instances is currently unknown. Update, September 1, 2005. On the morning of August 31, 2005, an assessment of the damages of the recent Hurricane Katrina took place along the Gulf Coast. Among the debris, first responders found an estimated 48 disembodied brains on Biloxi Beach. Each brain was found to be accompanied by an attached pair of eyes that facilitated its movement. The Foundation took notice of this and confirmed the description matched that of SCP-5915-A. Of the 48 instances found, 23 had fit themselves into empty seashells and 19 had begun burying themselves in the beach or piles of loose garbage. The remaining six had infiltrated the skulls of deceased hurricane victims by means of lifting and dropping their heads onto sharp rocks and forcing the native brains and eyes out. Out of the six SCP-5915-A instances, two had achieved integration with their corpses, save for the eyes which hung loosely out of the point of entry. However, they were only capable of involuntary spasms and incoherent vocalizations due to significant brain damage.